Welcome back to our channel, thank you for tuning in. My name is Rodney and holy moly it's been a Harry Potter Christmas and I'm going to do a little bit of a haul to show you exactly what I did get for this Christmas and I was very grateful to receive all the Harry Potter stuff. It was very exciting so without further ado let's go with the video. <laughs> This year I was very fortunate enough to make friends with a fantastic Harry Potter Instagrammer called Terry Baldu. Uh, I've mentioned him before in my videos and had his photography book and etc. But this year he got me a fantastic Harry Potter gift, which is it's kind of like a Hufflepuff starter pack, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> and one of the things is a Hufflepuff travel card. Now this is from Mina Lima, as well as a Hufflepuff badge and a. Hufflepuff card. Now this is a small version of the other one that's normally featured in my video, but this is a very cute little one. So if you're not able to get sort of the bigger one, like the print, like I, I was actually gifted that a couple Christmases ago, but this is a cute little one. If you have little postcards that you want to frame, I would recommend getting this. As well as a cute little Red Disney Beasts bookmark. Now this is really sort of perfect for, and it's a magnetic one as well and it's like the replication of the one that's going to be in the film and if me and Lima do stick with this one then this should be featured in Fantastic Beasts The Crime of, of Grindelwald. Thank you very much for these gifts. I was very pleased to receive these before Christmas. This gift I got to open before Christmas as well because these friends I wouldn't be seeing over the Christmas break because they will be traveling to Australia so I got to open this one and it was Luna's wand. I'm so excited. I've been eyeing this up for absolutely forever and it's the beautiful second one that she gets which is the tulip wand and fortunately from my other video a lot of people were able to inform me on why she has a second one but I don't know if I actually have a first one because you can't I don't think you can buy those anymore but this is the one that I got from them and I'm very pleased with this because it's absolutely beautiful and much smaller than I expected but I guess it fits Luna very well. Now these are actually ones that I received on Christmas Day and I've been sort of dying to sort of uh, showcase them and sort of uh, you know have fun with them but these are all sort of pot related. One of the ones was Harry was a Cluedo! <laughs> now I must confess I'm not the best at Cluedo. I find that I'm not the best at bluffing games but now that I'm a Harry Potter Cluedo I'm gonna have to obviously have a little bit more practice and maybe get better at that and it comes to these like spinning wheels and these like dice that you roll and like flu pad tokens so I was like I haven't actually played it yet because I haven't been around enough people that will tolerate playing Harry Potter Cluedo but as soon as I have and I'm able to sort of suggest how good this is I will now I was fortunate enough to receive quite a lot of ones this Christmas and I cannot be more grateful to my family and friends for gifting me with such amazing ones this Christmas and these are what they are. These, these are the ones I got. Now this is a Malfoy's wand and it is beautiful. I mean just the texture of it because it's actually all dotty and very textured and sort of sharp edges but very still regal and poised at the same time so it's actually a very beautiful wand and very I think suited to Narcissa Malfoy but that's a beautiful one that I got so it's almost becoming like a wand sort of collection like part two but these are actually all the ones that I have because but these are just the ones that I got for this Christmas. Now if you recall from my video that I made where I visited the opening of the Noble Collection store I actually went there specifically because I know that's quite difficult to find the Get Up Grindelwald's Wand. Now I thought going there they just opened that they would have stock of that but unfortunately that was a particularly rare wand that they didn't have stock of but lo and behold this Christmas I was granted the Christmas witch of getting Grindelwald's wand and I couldn't be more pleased. It is amazing. Now it's almost like like a shard of bark that's like kind of I think almost dried in the sun and like become wrinkled and it's got like these sort of red thorns on them and it just kind of swirls and you know how I like like sort of curvy um, sort of intricate ones I mean not sort of boring plain ones this is an amazing one now this must this is obviously the one that Grindelwald had before he had the elder one which we see he now has with those photos that released for Crimes of Grindelwald so now I don't even know if this wand will feature in any future films he may he may have kept this wand but that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get it in case I stopped making it. So I was really pleased with this one, so thank you very much for that. Now something to help with my wand collection, 
I was fortunately gifted with this one collection book, which I think has just come out. And again, it's so amazing. It's so beautifully like done. It's got each and every wand in there. Actually, apart from Grindelwald, I didn't actually spot that one, but just the, the, the detail behind that. And you even spot like things that you, that I haven't seen before. There's actually Lockhart's wand in this one. And I haven't actually seen that close up. And just sort of a little bit more about the wands and also all the lengths. And you also get to see like, uh, uh, Hagrid's wand in that as well, which obviously is showcased in his pink umbrella. But I would just recommend this book to anyone who loves wands. It is a beautiful addition to my sort of wand collection and my Harry Potter book collection. So I'll definitely be reading all of this as well and just wanting to even replicate some of the ones. I mean, there's even there's even Wormtail's one in this, which you can't even purchase either. It's like showing us all these ones that I can't have. I'm like, <laughs> I want them now, but you can't have them. So the closest I can have to that is this book, which I'm very pleased with. So thank you very much for that as well. Another amazing gift that I was so pleased <laughs> to receive this one. That any Hufflepuff would be pleased to have this gift. And I can't believe that I finally have it. And it is the Hufflepuff cup. <laughs> and it is beautiful. I can't wait to get some sort of bell jar to display this in on my shelf so that it doesn't get dusty. But I can't believe that I have the Hufflepuff cup finally. It's very cute, it's very small, but I finally have a second Horcrux. Mm. Okay, so still within the Wizarding World, but on to more Fantastic Beasts gift. And Yes, a lot more ones, because I was fortunate enough to get a lot more ones as well. So one of the ones that I got, and they're in these like, like almost original, like Ollivander sort of wand boxes, which you know I love. I was very pleased to get them like this. Um, I got Tina's wand, which is very simple, very delicate, and very, I think it has a lovely weight to it. And I believe that the actors actually got to help design their own ones. So I think she was shown, from what I remember from that Fantastic Beasts event, that they gave her a few ones and then they actually made them and then she had to feel, and then she said, like, could this be a little bit heavier? So this is actually made per Catherine Waterstone's requests and also of what the design is. So this is Tina's one and I'm very pleased to get that. But yeah, it's obviously not the most like complicated one, but it is still a beautiful one. And I'm very pleased that I finally got that one as well. They also come with these like beautiful, like Art Deco 1920s beautiful gold on them as well. So these are like beautiful boxes. And they do have the names on the ends, so you can easily always find who whose one do you want to look at. Again, another Fantastic Beast one with this beautiful gold sort of decoration on. Now I was fortunate enough to actually receive this from America because my aunt is currently in America, but it was kind of to send over a gift from America to me to open on Christmas Day and my mom before she wrapped that for me, and this was, yes, another one. <laughs> it was Percival Graves' wand. Now, it is beautiful, elegant, and official looking wand, as you would imagine poor Percival Graves to have. Um, now, I say poor Percival because we don't actually know what has happened to him. He may still be alive. He may still be reacquainted with this wand, but otherwise, I have this wonderful replica of this wand, which I'm very pleased to get as well. So thank you very much for that. Another fantastic piece, amazing merchandise, is another one, yes. And again, another beautiful gold design box that I now get to display on my shelf. <laughs> and this is, I think actually, I now have all the Fantastic Beast ones. This is the beautiful Serafina Pickery's one, which is the president of Makusa. And this is the first sort of like, one like this I have. Now this is like a resin, it's like a purple, and it isn't even has this again, this sort of 1920s kind of almost like dress feel to it um but it's very light it's very very dainty very beautiful one i think it's probably one of the most beautiful ones that i have apart from sort of uh queenie's wand again very pleased that i have this and now i almost have, i have the full collection i can't believe that i'm so pleased i'm so like, excited to like sort of showcase them in some particular way but yeah that's that's that one so thank you again very much for that one final thing that i got as a gift from my wonderful partner is the bow chuckle from the Noble Collection. And it is just so cute. I really, really love it. I didn't actually look at it in detail, but when I saw it at the Noble Collection opening, I thought, pick it is just absolutely so cute. And I've seen people recreate this obviously with, you know, felt and like 
wire, like people have made absolutely amazing recreations, but the detail of this is just incredible. Like even these little feet have got this like, sort of brown like detailing on them and it's got like textured and it's little like these little claws and I mean it does come on leaves, so unfortunately it does kind of like need to be like on leaves to give him like a more realistic comfort in my pocket because he's non-bendable. But he even comes with this little expression, he's sticking on his tongue and it's just so cute and I can't wait to sort of display this. It is so so cute, I love the bow chuckle, and I've now got a little pickets, and it's so cute. That's it this video, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed seeing that absolutely amazing Harry Potter haul. I am so grateful to all my friends and family for gifting me with these amazing gifts. I mean obviously I love Harry Potter to death, I hope that everyone's had a lovely time over the festive period and been spoiled rotten with Harry Potter gifts. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe by clicking on that button over there for more of the same Wizarding World content. And if you missed my last week's video, you can find that by clicking on that box over there. And next time you'll be seeing me now will be probably after the new year, so I hope you all have a lovely new year. And as we all know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.